just by how you identify yourself. I'm going to go a little step further. We said either you're a player or you're a prey or you become the prey. It's true. <laughs> if I was a casino owner and I made the rules, everybody's prey. And even, the, even the best players. I pray. As, as they say in the in Vegas, the house always wins. That's right. Even the people that think they have an advantage, they could take the casino for millions of dollars. It doesn't matter. Your gameplay allows other people to get excited about what you're doing, and they'll forfeit the loss of your million dollars that you be able to siphon out for the tens of millions they're making per day. Mm. Don't get confused. Those people are in business for a reason. They're not in business to help you win. They're, they're in business to, to, to make money. It's true. The company you work for is in business so that they win, not you. Okay? Some people think, oh, as soon as you get on the interview, I'm going to now talk about what I want. They're not interested in what you want. They're not. They already know. If you want 40K, they're going to have to put out 50K. Mm -hmm. Maybe more. Because the taxes, benefits, any incentives to keep you thinking that working 40 hours a week is good enough. Okay? Right. Meanwhile... They know darn well they're saving three to four times your worth by having somebody just be convinced that they that they could be dollars. off, well off with fifty k. Right. That's all it is. So, <laughs> so the, the the house is winning. You get it? The house is already winning. You're not winning. You winning with the, you know, at the end of the week. You gonna get your you know, seven hundred, eight hundred dollars. Feels good in the pocket, right? Feels good. Feels good in the pocket. You know, if you save up two of those, you'll have rent. You know, if you save up four of those, you get through your monthly expenses. But the real game, the real game is the twenty five hundred dollars that went out the door behind your back. <laughs> the real game is knowing that you just help somebody just by you accepting a standard and some sort of routine you're $2,500 right out the door and you, gotta, you have to sit there and understand can I live with that can I live with that I could have and 10 grand this month but I forfeited it $3,200. Mm. They don't want this game, man. That, that's the real game right there. That is the real game you're saying right there. I just yeah. made the analogy of the casino owner going to the corporation owner. And guess what? You may not like casinos and you don't like gambling your money away, but if you go to the corporation, every time you take a paycheck, you're gambling your money away. And the house won. Always. They forfeited contrib contributions to pension into 401k and got you borrowing against your own money now when you used to have a guaranteed paycheck for the rest of your life after you retired they got you gambling with your own money just to put down on your own house now mm, mm, mm. Mm. think about that think about that they gambling they gambling your future away that's right you can't rely on social security social security is going to be bankrupt by the time we get old you know that yeah those security supposed to be completely um, depleted by 2030. That's a long. That's not short away. That's not far away. When, when do you think you're gonna get your first retirement check? Okay, think about it. If you plan for say, that's what I'm trying to convince you to work, stay in the workforce longer. You get bigger checks later on. It's because they weren't gonna be that big in the first place. <laughs> I can retire, you know. It's 65, but oh, why don't you wait till 72? 72. It's funny. Broke by that time. It's funny. 